Hi, Cleo. How are you doing today? Doing good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you very much. Uh, first question. Obviously, you moved to Virginia Tech. Obviously, the season just gone. How big has that move been for your development as a player? Uh, it's been, it was a really good move for me. Um, you know, the guys here did a great job of just welcoming me in. The coaches uh, did a great job of just utilizing me. So, you know, I'm, I'm really excited that I came here. Um, you know, I love Hokie Nation, so. Um, I, I, obviously, next stage is the NFL. What sort of strengths and attributes would you bring to the franchise that drafts you? Yeah, uh, big play threat. Um, you know, I, when I get the balls in my hands, I feel like I could, I could go to the end zone every single time. So just making big plays, using my vision, um, helping my team out any way I can. Awesome. Thank you, Cleo. Good luck. Thank you. Hey, Kurz. Hey, Cleo. How you doing, man? Doing good. How you doing? Good. How weird is it to have partially to be partially judged by? You know, numbers, like how fast you run, how many times you can bench press 225 pounds. You know, that takes no, in, no into no account, like your vision on the field or anything. How weird is it to be, be judged by that? Um, it's not weird at all. You know, I knew it was a part of the process my whole life. You know, it's something that I've wanted to do. Um, so just being able to come out here and, and check those boxes for coaches and evaluators, you know, it was, it was, it was fun about fun part of the process. And when teams talk to you, how much do they tell you, or is it too early for that? Like, do they say we're looking at you in the third round or that kind of stuff, or what do they say? Uh, no, no, they're not telling me that. They're just really focusing on my film or evaluating me uh, with, uh, with different types of film and just looking how I respond to questions. What's the weirdest question you've been asked so far? Nothing really. Uh, everything's been football-related, so. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Josh Allen. Hey, just wondering how um, who have you leaned on throughout this draft process, and um, uh, have you spoken to the Bucks yet? Um, yeah, I've, I've leaned on just my trainers, my family, um, you know, my friends, just help push me through the process. Um, have I spoken to the Bucks yet? Yes. All right, Nick uh, Faribaugh. Hey, Khalil, you know, at the Senior Bowl, I think you did a pretty nice job in pass pro at 5'9", about 205 uh, is what you're listed at. You know, what? how are you tr still trying to improve, I guess, your third down game all around? Because you weren't used a ton in the receiving game, and then your size, it just says not great in pass pro. But clearly, you are a fighter in pass pro. Like, what are you doing just to improve upon your third down game overall? Yeah, just continuing, you know, to work on pass protection, shooting my hands, catching the ball at the backfield, just showing coaches um, that, I, that I can do it all um, and being every down back in the league. So just continuing to work on those things and do those things each and every day. Do you, are you comfortable uh, with at least splitting out of the backfield in the slot, um, running a full NFL route tree? Are you working on that right now? Yes, sir. That's, that's definitely one thing I've been working on. Um, I did it at Pro Day today just to, be, just to show them that I'm able to do that also. And uh, have you met at all with the Pittsburgh Steelers? Um, and if you have, who have you talked to? Uh, no, sir. All right, thank you. All right, Gonzuelo. Hey, Khalil and here Gonzalo from Roja in Argentina. My question is, uh, do you think your production in the last years in, in, in Virginia Tech uh, could help you to... to race in, in the boards yeah definitely um you know big shout out to the old line big shout out to the coaches in virginia tech and all uh, all my teammates really but it definitely helped me i feel like uh just show people what i'm able to do um in all aspects of the game matthias thank you Uh, on, on this 2020, uh, like 2021 draft, uh, Khalil, we have like a, a, a really good class of running backs, and the, the NFL like uh, asks for asks for running backs like have the ability for catching the ball too. And do you think that you're ready for that? Uh, you have that kind of skill. You think you still have to improve a little bit that for the NFL? Uh, no, I think I'm ready for that. Uh, something that I'm I haven't done a lot in college, but I definitely can do. Um, it's something that I, I've, I've been working on improving at the Senior Bowl and at Pro Day here that I can do out the backfield. So, 
Thank you. Mookie Hawkins from the Bills beat. Juice, Mookie Hawkins, Wealth Sports, 1080. How's it going, big guy? Going good. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Um, how had your time in Blacksburg prepared you for this moment? Uh, really, really prepared me a lot. Just getting around a lot of NFL caliber guys in the locker room. Um, just working every day to, to be the best I can and, 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 and show my talents on the field. It's, it's helped me a lot, you know. These coaches definitely know what they're doing and they got the program in the right direction. So just being around guys that know what they're talking about and, um, you know, just helping getting me ready for the next level has been a been a great aspect to being here. So, Absolutely. And um, what running backs do you compare yourself to? And um, what teams have been in contact with you? Um, I'd say, you know, I don't really like to compare myself, but one of the guys I watch a lot, two of the guys I watch a lot are, Tiki Barber and Ladanian Thompson, and I feel like those are the kind of traits that I bring to teams. But um, you know, I, I'm not really sure off the head. I can't really name all the teams I've been talking to. <laughs> hey, man, enjoy the process, and good luck on draft weekend. Thank you. Jacob and Fonte. Hey, Khalil, appreciate you taking the time out to talk to us today. Uh, you're mentioning your size uh and some people do talk about disadvantages that maybe being a little bit shorter does that has at the running back position but it also helps you uh get a lower uh center of gravity and keep your pads low can you can you speak a little bit to the advantages that your frame has because watching you on tape you do run with a low center of gravity which you know helps your balance so just speak a little bit about to the advantages of that yeah definitely you know uh my height's never affected me before um, running backs back in the day were all my size, so I don't think it affects me at all. It helps me just, you know, play the position that I play and, and you know, keep that low center in gravity and keep my pads low. Um, but, you know, a lot of guys my height are doing great things in the league, so. Thank you. Yes, sir. Stephen Hagwin. Hey, Cleo. Stephen from the LAFB Network covering the Chargers and the Rams. Have you had a chance to meet with either of those teams uh, since the Senior Bowl? Yeah. Both teams? Yes. Okay, cool. I, I'm curious because obviously you mentioned LaVainian Tomlinson and, and he's been, you know, a huge part of the Chargers' success, uh, success in, in in the 2000s. Uh, what specifically drew you to him and uh, have you had the chance to maybe reach out to him and have some conversations with him? Uh, no, I haven't had the chance to reach out to him, but just growing up, I always wore 21. Uh, my birthday is the 21st and he wore 21. So that was, that was the biggest thing. But I, playing the running back position too is kind of who I – who I uh, looked up to growing so growing up. So that was, that was always my favorite running back, my favorite player. Awesome, man. Best of luck going forward for you. Thank you.